strong. This is Soul and Libra. We're going to look at some energies for you this upcoming week, beginning August 31st, ending uh, September 6, uh, 2020. The messages will be for Libra Sun, Moon, and Libra Rising signs. Even though um, the next day, the 7th, is Labor Day, and that's part of a new, fresh weekly uh, energies for me, I want to wish all those Libras who are planning on, uh, you know, celebrating this that weekend a very safe, happy. Uh, Labor Day celebration as well. Libra, please sit back, relax, and I hope that you enjoy this week's reading. All right, Libra, you're up next. So Libra, I'm on a different camera angle here, so I hope that you guys can see the cards very well. Um, I try to make some sort of quick adjustments in terms of uh, you know, uh, cards going out of focus once they're laid down, but I usually try to hold the cards up there, so and I announce the cards um in terms of what they are so uh i don't know you know why anyone should have a problem all cards are in the upright position <laughs> okay and i'm um, using the apocalypse uh, tarot deck once again to deliver your uh, energies and we're going to look at some energies for libra sun moon and libra rising signs okay so libra let's see what's going on here what's coming up for you potentially for this upcoming week, August 31st, ending August 6th, right before Labor Day, okay? Anyway, so, Shadow Energy uh, Libra, we have, uh, well, we're going to start off with the good card, Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is the yes answer to uh, any romantic questions that you may have, but also because this is an open general reading, uh, Libra, it's expanded to all areas of your life okay the cups represent other people in your life but in a good way that could be your children that could be your romantic partners that could be a, a bunch of friends it could be family members extended family members co-workers and you're just you know you're enmeshed in um uh, being surrounded by all of this love and support Okay, so the Nine of Cups, I oftentimes equate that with the Star card, hopes, wishes, and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested. Nine of Cups energies represents Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces water signs. All right, so we're starting off very good. Your focus, however, on the week of the week is also another good card. It's the World card, Major Arcana, the World card. So this is a... Uh, type of energy is a relationship card again uh, just so you know that the world card the sun the temperance the high priestess the empress for me specifically and the lovers of course or relationship card. So whenever I speak about that and the world card shows up and you come along and it's like, what the hell is he talking about? It's a relationship card. That's just me. Okay. I don't care what any other reader says about the world card. It's about opportunities. Definitely. So there are opportunities that are, uh, could be waiting for you or opening up for you, uh, this upcoming week, but it all depends on you and your situation. All right, so that's a very strong and positive uh, card to open up for you this upcoming week. And I always say when we get these major arcanas, Libra, that opens us up during the week, anything negative that follows it, it sort of dims the energy down, okay? So the world card, making sure that there is um, a good focus for you uh, this upcoming week and that there are no distractions so opportunities don't, uh, you know, go by you or miss you or you're not paying attention because your focus is elsewhere so i feel that for the most part there is going to be a greater focus on uh and you may not even be you know concentrating on that it's just that your focus 
is not on the heavier stuff, possibly may not be on the heavier stuff to distract you from a missed opportunity is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so Libra, what crosses the world card is the princess of uh, wands. Okay, this is the page of wands. So, of course, you know, the page of wands is about good news and surprises. So this here crossing the world card, that means that there's you could be. Uh, the receptor of hearing some good news or given some sort of surprise based on an opportunity, maybe an opportunity that um, may not have been in your grasp, may not have been something that you were thinking of, something that comes out of the blue, and then it's handed to you. Okay, so that's why I said, you know, more than likely your focus is on not being distracted by other things, petty things. This uh, Princess of Wands represents uh, a, a court card, also fire, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So yes, good news. It's the start of something new. It's the initiation. It's the card of passion. It's the card of creative pursuits. So it might be something going on here for uh, some Libras when it comes to the creative uh, department. Uh, being uh, more creative or inspiring. This is card of inspiration uh, or inspiring to be more creative. Okay, and um, anything related to arts, music, acting, singing, dancing, poetry, writing, you name it. Okay, so we're starting off pretty good here for you, Libra. Um, Following the uh, Princess of Wands, we have, oh, you got the Major Arcana, the Strength card. So this is actually going to turn out for uh, some, quite a few of you, a pretty good week. Strength is on your side. It's the Major Arcana. This is a card of passion. This is a card of, um, you know, moving about uh, freely without having any types of fears or hesitations, um, being or owning in your own power. Um, this is still a card that will uh, come in to, ex you know, express uh, sexual energy energies or passion related to those things or anything else that you're passionate about. Um, there's nothing that you need to fear uh, moving about this upcoming week. Wow, you got the Nine of Cups as a shadow. And you opened up with the World card. Good news and surprises is on, uh, could be on the way for some of you. An opportunity that might befall you uh, that you may not even be expecting or had expected. Strength card, stronger than ever, feeling powerful. Uh, yes, nothing can stand in your way, and strength is here, okay? Strength represents um, Leo the Lion. I don't know why he has a tiger here, but it doesn't matter. It also represents Aries and Sagittarius. That is a tiger. It's not a lion. Okay, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> strength is on your side. Up next is the, look at that. And I'm holding these cards right here in front of you. I'm not making any switches. Now, Libra, you have the chariot. Oh, my gosh, you got the chariot here. So something definitely um, positive. Now, look, I'm linking it to the world card here automatically. Crossing that is the news and surprises about an opportunity. Something positive moves forward. You're heading in the right direction. Or something positive is definitely coming towards you. Now, the chariot represents all forms of transportation, so it could be, uh, I always get this, you know, if you're one of those Libras who like to get in that car and, and not pay attention to the speed limit, you could just get a traffic violation. So, Libra, please, drive safely if that is the case. Representing, um, when it comes to that transportation, Uber and Lyft services, uh, all forms of transportation it could be someone having car repairs it could be major could be minor someone purchasing a car leasing a car renting a car traveling is indicated for some of you which is rightfully so so some of you might be traveling during the holiday um, because like I said this is the cutoff right before the next uh, weekly reading uh, but anyway that could be what's going on here that you're traveling or uh, vacationing uh, and it's, you know, maybe specific for the holiday, but the traveling can, you know, be involved with anything, business, work, you name it. Okay. Vacation. Chariot represents cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. Wow. Okay. Up next is these. Oh, you guys listen. Can you see that? Because that's the sun. Libra, you are 
receiving the sun it's a relationship card it's a beautiful card so not only are you feeling stronger this week you're feeling radiant you're feeling joyful you're feeling successful it is underneath the world card that's where those opportunities come in oh my gosh so for whatever reason now i don't know if this is like a precursor to your own birthday energies but you're getting and receiving a lot of positive energy this upcoming week instantly with the sun showing up here you know i always talk about i get florida california so i'm hoping that you know the recent events where there were um you know fires in california and the uh you know uh hurricane um you know in the uh Louisiana and the you know that southern region I hope everything is okay this is sometimes indicative uh, for me medical stuff so I pick up that I could be just reading for some Libras who work in the medical field you know RNs doctors uh, hospital support staff anyone having chemo uh, radiation treatment for cancer all is well this could be just routine uh, medical checkups uh, you're going to, you know, pay a visit to the doctors all as well. Um, you know, examinations, uh, and, you know, involving x-rays, x-rays of all kinds, CAT scans, um, you know, mammograms, um, uh, ultrasounds and uh, so to speak, etc. Okay, but all is well when the sun shows up here, the sun shines and smiles on my fellow Libras this upcoming week. And wow, such a glorious energy to uh, receive, I swear. Okay, so the next card up is the, uh, you're gonna like, like the next couple of cards. The King of Wands is the card of passion. So things could be heating up and rightfully so. <laughs> it's swallowing the sun. And also too, when uh, the sun, it geographically it all depends on where you live uh, it could be just that you're experiencing greater uh heat temperatures than normal that could be what i'm feeling too with the sun uh so the king of wands comes in here so he's focused and remember i said something about you being focused when the world card was drawn that you're not being distracted by any other um you know uh simple things and then you know there's an opportunity that opens up now the opportunity could be a new relationship you know, if you're looking for, you know, because we have the support of the Nine of Cups, but we didn't even need the Nine of Cups because we got the Sun, we got the, um, you know, the Cherry and the World card and also the Strength card. But this is about uh, things possibly heating up in a good way. You're focused, um, passionate about something. It's a court card. It could be somebody new coming in. Uh, older feels I always get with the uh, king and queens you know I always say that so it could be that you know you connect with someone who is older uh, than you this could just represent someone's father um, but yeah passionate about something sexual energy sexual expression uh, but feeling overall pretty good king of wands represents Aries Leo and Sagittarius the next card up is the queen of cups okay libra <laughs> so wow libra you have the mother of all love she's nurturing she's caring she's supportive she's intuitive so pay, please pay attention to your intuition any prompts that come through that might be linked to the world card in terms of opportunities go with the flow um don't go against it ride with it all right something positive is headed your way through the chariot you're stronger than ever through the strength card uh you're filled or could be surrounded by people who love you support you which could be your parents your grandparents uh, the nine of cups could be the other relationships that you are uh, having exchanges with but it's in a good way what you're putting out there you're receiving back all right so this here is a very good card to receive she is the queen of love all right so your last card last card is your own energies and of course of be one of those uh, out of the place cards right so it's your own energy seven of swords seven of swords is about mental conflicts it's about mental challenges oftentimes i read these energies as uh, possibly having too much going on uh, mentally and then you're forgetting about things so that still could be the case for some libras that you're you know got all of this good energy coming in here and you know even though i'm saying that you uh, for the majority most of you are going to be uh, focused and stuff 
Uh, but then there could be some abs absent mindedness going on, forgetting where, you know, you put your keys, your car keys, uh, some other important documents or paperwork or whatnot. But, it, you know, the good news here, though, it resurfaces. All right. So once you clear your mind of uh, any uh, clutter, then, you know, you can remember where you left your keys or left something else that was uh, important to you. All right. It comes back. Now, the other thing that I get here, Libra, is someone from your past returns. Now, you see a couple people here, but this one here in particular I'm focused on because the swords are like crossing him and blocking him. So if there's somebody that, you know, is um, wanting to return, and when I say return, it could be just a, you know, a friend that you haven't um, seen in a while, but you had some sort of disagreements. It could be a, uh, someone that you were romantically linked with. It could also be a family member, family member, extended family member. It could be a co-worker. The uh, thing that I always pick up uh, when I get the Seven of Swords is that there's still unresolved conflict going on with that individual. So be very, very careful in terms of anyone from your past. And it could be just from your recent past trying to uh, reconnect with you for whatever purpose. All right, Libra? But otherwise, I would just say, you know, you have nothing really to worry about this upcoming week. All looks good. I hope the energies opens up for you. I always tell you guys, I give you my best intuitive impression as to what I feel may be uh, experienced by some of you, but nothing is written in stone, right? So anyway, let's go with the good vibes and the good flow and hope that most of this stuff here uh, does... Um, you know, open up because it's, it's, it's the potential is definitely there. Wow. You got the world card, the sun, the strength card. You have the uh, queen of cups, the chariot, the nine of cups, the king of wands. You got the good news and surprises by the princess, the page of wands crossing your immediate environment. Libra, whatever you choose to do, I encourage you to do it safely. Also, um, stay strong, stay positive, definitely stay healthy. And then, you know, I'm throwing in at the end of the video to um, help anyone along the way to, hey, wear that mask and wash your hands, okay? So, sending you out quite a bit of love and light your way, Libra, until we talk again. Take care. Bye.